Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. Now, as so you all know, Unreal Fest is going on, and Sony Macopi actually just released two updates on their Sony Macopi products. So, the first thing they released was now you can add time code to your motion data plugin for UE. So, that means you can actually sync your Live Link data and your Sony Macopi data together in Unreal Engine 5. And I mentioned Unreal Fest because they actually showcased this there. And I'm going to show you the video here. Um, in a minute. Next update it did was the Sony Macopi PC app now is supporting FBX saving, meaning you can actually save an FBX file format of your recorded motion data. So that is another huge deal. If you want to save an FBX versus to live streaming it to Unreal Engine 5, you now have that option if you're using the Sony Macopi PC app. So that said, uh, here we are in the Sony Macopi Twitter page. Uh, here's the demonstration of that data being live streamed using time sync, which is better than not doing time sync. And I'll explain that here in a second. So if I press play here. There you go. There we go. <laughs> so his motion is synced with his face as well as the body. All right, now he's gonna perform a very unique samurai dance. <laughs> Man, I wish I went. Maybe next year. Maybe next year I will go on real fast. This looks like so much fun. But yeah, so he's wearing the Sony Macopi. You can't even tell that this dude is wearing a freaking motion capture device because it's like, what, how many sensors in there? Like really small. And obviously, I'm not sure what kind of helmet that is, but it's still pretty low key, man. It's 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 pretty insane. And somebody's performing a actually using a V cam here on the right side, which is pretty cool. All right. There we Look go. Look at that. Let's let it send the drone. All right. Yeah. That's sick. Okay, so there's another video here uh, of this one, uh, but the actual Macobi Live Link Face Time Code Sync video is this right here. So let's check this out real quick. I'll rewind it, and this is from their update. So now we can see that the live link face is going and the body is going with it as well. That's pretty crazy. Now, one of the benefits of doing it this way, if you are linked, so you can see down here, you're going to see that they have it time code link and synced. That means that it doesn't matter what you're doing in editor you are not, in theory, you're not going to get any lags or anything like that if you're doing something in the editor and moving it around because it is synced in time with the live link face and the body. So in, in layman's terms, if you are using timecode, it's going to be better. It's, you're going to get a better performance. And additionally, you don't actually have to record this live. You can also use timecode whenever you're recording using a take recorder also. Again, it's better than going directly live because depending on your hardware or your computer you might get lag in editor or something like that and you're going to drop frames but with the actual time code if you're recording that way then you're going to get the actual time code data being recorded with that sony Macopi motion capture device i hope that makes a lot of sense but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Just two major updates for the Sony Macopi device. As you all know, that's my mocap suit right now. That is it. That's that's the one I am mainly using for my Fortnite experiences and uh, short films or whatever. So that's why I am strictly watching Sony Macopi a lot right now. That said, until then, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.